I dropped the sausage and it landed in something funky. Oh, don't worry, honey. I'll show you an old household trick. First, you wipe it off, and then you take a knife, and you just cut down the side like so. Well, what does that do? Nothing. But at least we'll know which one to give your father. <laughs> that is terrible, Mitzi. Oh, Jimmy won't care. He's not exactly a gourmet. I used to put sugar in the mayonnaise and tell him it was pudding. <laughs> Dinner almost ready? Uh-huh. We're having sausages. Great. What's for dessert? Pudding. <laughs> Pudding. My favorite. Oh, honey, Gene just called, and he's got those hockey tickets. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the Kings taking on the Sabres Friday night. That's a must-see game. Yeah? How are the Kings doing now? Bad. How are the Sabres doing? Real bad. <laughs> well, what's so must-see about this game? It's Big Foam Finger Night. <laughs> I don't even think hockey's really a game. I think it's just violence on ice. I prefer figure skating. Oh, and figure skating is bloodless. Remember Tanya Harding? <laughs> hey, you know, I actually think she's pretty cool. I like Tanya Harding. Sure you do. And why? Don't we all have a secret fantasy of taking a stick and whacking the more popular girl, the prettier girl? <laughs> when I was in high school, there was a girl. Pretty, popular, <laughs> little Miss Perfect. I still daydream about smashing her little blonde head with a field hockey stick. <laughs> Plus, she stole my boyfriend. Rot in hell, Barbara Bush! <laughs> well, you know, I'm not advocating violence, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. I remember when I was 10, I fought a boy named Tommy McDonald. Oh, God, not the Tommy McDonald story. Tommy McDonald was a giant of a boy. Twice your size. Yeah, but you fought him anyway. And, and on that day, you began the journey from boy to man. <laughs> well, you mock me, ladies, but that was a defining moment in my life. I had to face up to my arrival and discover if I really had true physical courage. I'll tell you what true courage is, Jimmy. True courage is drying on a bathing suit in a three-way mirror under fluorescent lights. That's courage. <laughs> I don't get it. Oh, shut up. Honey, honey, honey. What's the matter? Sarah and I were on the park, and halfway home, I remembered I left my Pokemon cards on the picnic table. And when I went back, there was this boy, and he had my Pokemon cards. And I said, well, those are my cards. And he said, we'll get out of here. And he squirted me with his squirt gun. Oh, honey, it's going to be OK. Just calm down. Well, come on, Wendy. We'll go back to the park and get him back. Let's go. OK. Hey, 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 hey. Wait a second. I don't want you hulking down there and scaring some little boy. I do make him wet his pants, Daddy. <laughs> that is not what we want to do, honey. Why not? He scared her. Because that's only confrontational, and no one learns anything. I don't know. He might learn not to steal Pokemon cards from my daughter. You know, this reminds me about when I fought Tommy McDonald. <laughs> not the Tommy McDonald story. <laughs> name's Timmy. Hate him. Honey, you may be mad at Timmy, but it is not okay to hate him. Okay. okay. Can I despise him? <laughs> no, but very good use of vocabulary. <laughs> These are mine. Timmy, I am Wendy's mother. Big whoop. <laughs> well, uh, Timmy, yes, it, it is a big whoop, because Wendy was very upset, and and I'm sure if you knew how it made her feel losing her cards, that you would want to help us. I doubt it. Timmy, we have a problem here, and, and in order to solve it, I'm going to need your help. Will you help me, Timmy? I doubt it. Timmy, I didn't want to do this, but if I have to, I will take the cards. Oh, careful, Mom. He's packing here, too. <laughs> <laughs> I know what we're here gonna say. Me too, it's what Grandma sometimes calls Barbara Bush. <laughs> All right, you apologize for squirting me, Timmy. I doubt it. <laughs> All right, you are in real trouble now, you little chip. You get my daughter's cards back this minute. I doubt it, but she can have this. <laughs> All right, that 
was a big mistake. <laughs> Kid, don't you ever, ever touch, squirt, or in any way harass my daughter again. Do you understand me, Timmy? Yes. Good. Are you gonna let me go now? Without my daughter's Pokemon cards? I doubt it. <laughs> Thank you, and I'll take this. May I go home, please? Yes, you may. Hey, hey, hey. Stop getting that shirt. Hey, Mom? Yeah. You rock. I know. Oh, Marge is great. How come you always cut the sausage down the side like that? It lets the flavor off. Oh. Daddy, Daddy, you got my purse back. So, Mommy's little talk worked. No, Mommy's little talk didn't work. But when Mommy grabbed Timmy by the neck and said, Get all your Pokemon cards or I have to kill ya. <laughs> that part worked pretty well. Oh, did it now. Wendy, why don't you wash up for dinner? Whatever you say, you Xeno warrior, Mom. <laughs> Betsy, can I have a glass of water? What'll you do if I say no? Cold cock me? <laughs> Coming up. <laughs> what happened out there? Well, obviously, this little boy had difficulty communicating. Why? Because you had your hand around his windpipe? <laughs> well, I, I tried, Jimmy, but this little kid, he just got me so mad. It was as if I... I was in this primal state where I was nothing but adrenaline and instinct. Oh, and how'd that feel? Truthfully, it felt fabulous. It was like some, some mother bear defending her cub. God, what a weird rush you get when you unleash that animal, aggressive thing inside. That's how I feel when I take off my panty girdle. <laughs> I feel like you must have felt when you fought Tommy McDonald. Uh, when I fought Tommy McDonald, it was hot. Crazy hot. <laughs> kind of day when people do crazy things. Tommy McDonald was a giant of a boy. Yes? Hi, I'm Mavis Little. Oh, yes, come in. There was a problem at the park. Oh, I see you brought him with you. <laughs> now, which one of you grabbed my kid? I did. But only as a, a last resort. I tried to open a line of communication with Well, him. you're just lucky I wasn't there, lady. Or what? Well, I might have had to open a line of communication across your bottle blonde head. <laughs> do you have a point here? Or do you just wander into any house where you smell sausage? <laughs> Hi there, I'm, uh, I'm Jim Stiles. Uh, 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 would you like some coffee? Yeah, we have pudding, too. <laughs> here squirted me and my daughter in the face and he stole her Pokemon cards. Kids, what are you gonna do? He says he didn't. Yeah, well, my kid doesn't lie. Well, neither does mine, and I think you owe him an apology. Ha! <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> you apologize to him. Yeah, I got your apology right here. <laughs> I ought to smack you silly. Oh, yeah? Well, you come on and get it. No, you come to Mavis. No, you come to Don. No, you. No, you. No, you. No, you. No. <laughs> Mavis. Look no. out, Mom. He's got sausage. Oh, no, it's just my supper. You know, I don't really. <laughs> oh, my God. I've been maced. It's pepper spray. Oh, my God. I've been peppered. Well, Mr. Big Man, not so brave now after a little pepper in the peepers. You know, you know what, Mavis Little? You have picked a fight with the wrong family. And for your information, my son Jimmy isn't afraid of anyone or anything. That's not entirely true. I'm very scared of that woman and her little can of agony. I'll tell you what then, ladies. Why don't you have your Jimmy bring the cards to my husband Larry tomorrow at 3 in the park? Oh, he'll be there. But the only thing he'll be bringing is a six-pack of whoop-ass. <laughs> then Larry will have to teach him a lesson. Well, I guess he will. Three o'clock. No, three o'clock. <laughs> hey, thanks for stopping by. And come on back whenever you want another piece of me. She didn't have a piece of you, she had a piece of me. <laughs> oh, baby, you were so brave. Are you okay? I think so. I'm, I'm starting to see shapes again. <laughs> Poor baby. Yeah. 
Oh, God, Mom, I hope that wasn't you. Jimmy? Yeah? I've been thinking. I'm not very proud of how I behaved today. Oh, I, I never should have lost my temper that way. And I certainly never should have volunteered you for a dangerous, perhaps even crippling Donnybrook with Mavis Little's no doubt gigantic husband. Gigantic? I don't know, but at some point he had to carry Mavis Little across the threshold. <laughs> I decided that tomorrow I am going to buy another pack of Pokemon cards, and I'm going to send them to the Littles. I'm going to stop this thing before it gets any crazier so you don't have to worry. Okay? Well, I'm not worried. You don't think I'm scared, do you? I'm not scared. No. No, no, no. I don't think you're scared. No. Oh. I'm in the best shape I've ever been. You know, I got four tie bow tapes in there. Aren't they unopened on the floor of the closet? Yeah, but I step over them every morning. That's a good workout. Honey, I did not mean to imply that you were afraid. No. Heck, you're the guy who whooped Tommy McDonald. No, I'm not. Well, sure you are. Tommy McDonald was a giant of a boy. No, no, I made it all up. It never happened. The day I was supposed to meet him after school by the monkey bars, I never showed. I chickened out. Why would you do that? Are you deaf? Tommy McDonald was a giant of a boy. <laughs> Unless if you fought Tommy McDonald. Well, I do. It haunts me. All the kids knew I was the boy who was afraid to fight by the monkey bars. Did they tease you? They had a terrible nickname for me. What was it? Afraid to fight by the monkey bars, boy? <laughs> <laughs> kids can be so cruel. And really unimaginative when it comes to nicknames. Mm. <laughs> Jimmy, that was over 30 years ago. You were just a boy. Yeah, well, that's exactly why I have to go. I don't want to be afraid to fight by the monkey bars man. <laughs> this may be my, my one chance to, to erase that shame. I, I, I may not get another. But, Jimmy, you could get hurt. Oh, honey, don't worry about me. I can look after myself. You know, I'm tougher than I look. <laughs> oh, God, I hope so. Huh? Nothing. Nothing. Hey, Jim! Hi, Gene. Well, oh, you're nervous, huh? Oh, don't worry. It'll, it'll all come back to you once you've been in one fight. You've been in a hundred. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. You, you, you have been in a fight, haven't you? Oh, sure I have. Well, kind of a fight. I was a shark in my high school production of West Side Story. <laughs> there was fighting in that. Well, not so much fighting, more dancing. <laughs> no, I've never been in a fight. Okay, Jimmy, two things. One, never tell that story to another man. And two, your wife has given you a gift. A physical fight is an important rite of passage that you have somehow missed in your life. You know, I, I, it, 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 it's a big day for you. What if he's big? Big, it doesn't matter. The bigger they come, the harder they fall. What if he knows karate? Well, karate's no good in a street fight. Well, what if I lose? Oh, Jimmy, lose. Lose? <laughs> oh, you're gonna lose, but... <laughs> That's just as good. You know, the, the point of battle is just being willing to fight it. Will it hurt, Gene? Not as much as you might think. But, oh, well, maybe the first punch, especially if he breaks your nose. He could break my nose? Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy. Yeah, he's gonna break your nose. <laughs> Fragile thing, a nose. <laughs> no, wait, 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 wait a second, Gene. What if I break his nose first? Oh, well, I guess, you know, sure, that's possible. You do have those cat-like reflexes. <laughs> I don't stand a chance, do I? Jimmy, I'm, I'm going to help you. I'm going to tell you how I fight. Oh, great. Good, yeah. good, good, good. All right, so <clears throat> after, uh, after you finished, uh, I don't know, eight or nine strong cocktails, you know, you, you loosen your tie, then you stumble over to the big bad. Oh, 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 Gigi, I'm gonna do this sober. Really? Yeah. Okay, then I got nothing. <laughs> The 
the sharks are gonna have their way tonight. <laughs> Bernardo's gonna have his day tonight. Oh, please be him, please be him. Hey, are you little? Yeah, but at least I ain't ugly. <laughs> no, sorry, no. no. That's not what I meant. I, I, I wasn't making... Never mind. So, you old monkey bars. Thought I wouldn't make it, huh? Oh, 30 years too late, but here I am. <sighs> Sharks are gonna have their way tonight. <laughs> Ricardo's gonna have his day tonight. <laughs> oh, don't stop, I love that show. Oh yeah, I was in it. Oh. Well, no, I, I mean, I saw it. I was never in it. Too busy fighting. Are you Larry? Larry Little. I understand our wives had a little brouhaha over some cards or something. Gee, I hope we can straighten it out. Well, Larry, you know, it's very simple. My daughter said your son took her cards. My wife came here to get them, and, um, well, frankly, we're not going to give them back. Gee whiz, if I go home empty handed, Mavis is going to have a hiss. Have you met the wife? <laughs> Larry, you seem like a nice guy, but. If we're gonna have to have it out, then that's just the way it's gotta have to be. Coat hanger? Oh. <laughs> Very kind of you, thank you. All right. Before we get started, I was thinking it might be a good idea if we were to, you know, jot down some general rules. Rules? Yeah, that's an excellent idea. Uh, say, how about, um, how about no biting? Exactly. I mean, we're not animals, for God's sake. Absolutely. And, uh, no kicking. You know, I got, I got terrible, terrible bunions. Really, I have a great podiatrist. You know, I love his number. Oh, consider it done. <laughs> if you call, mention my name. Sure. You know, I really appreciate this. Thanks no very problem. much. No problem. Hey, how about no gouging? Mister, now you're reading my mind. No gouging. Yeah. Yeah, nothing around the eyes. Hey, Larry, you know, my eyes are very oh. sensitive right now. Me too. When I go to the optometrist, if he so much as touches my eyes, I scream like a little baby. So, um, you want to rumble? Oh, right, Rooney. <laughs> um, I'm a little new at this. How do we actually get started? Well, traditionally, you know, there's a little strutting, a little shoving, and then we, uh, we segue into the ritualistic insulting of each other's mothers. <laughs> oh, I, I lost my mom last year. Well, I'll give it a try. Sorry to hear that. Oh, she was terribly ill. It, it's a blessing, really. Um, all right, I'll start. Uh, you know, word on the street is your mother is kind of uh, rude and cranky. Oh, you know her? <laughs> no, that was the insult. Oh, I see. Uh, Sorry. Uh, now you. Yeah. <clears throat> your mother is finally at rest. You know, my condolences. <laughs> Thank you very much. You know, no matter how much you plan for it, it always comes as a great shock. Hey, hey, hey man. Come on. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. Now, where were we? What? Larry, what are we doing? I don't know, but I don't mind telling you. I, I'm pretty scared. And me? Well, sure. You want to hear something crazy? Uh, never been in a fight before. Me either. <laughs> You know, I actually thought this was something I had to do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, I had to prove oh, something yeah. to myself. <laughs> uh -huh. Like, I had to find that, that little piece of courage that was missing yes. when I was 10 years yes. old. Yes. <laughs> oh, Larry, we're not 10 years old anymore. No, we're not. And I, for one, would be uh, very happy to stop acting like I was. Thank you. I am so relieved. But I do have a favor to ask you. I don't dare go back without any sign of a scuffle. I mean, have you met the wife? Wait, we could get a couple of marks on us. That's a good idea. You know, that way, if my wife asks, I can honestly say, Larry did this to me. Exactly. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll, you could give me a pinch. All right. Work. Yeah, but any but easy now, because oh. I've got very white skin. The slightest thing will really mark. You know? right, yeah. Ow! 
Hey, man, that really hurt. He really touched you. I don't know. That was very, very hard. That could welt up on me. You, you don't have to act like a baby about it. Well, how do you like it? Oh, huh? I did not hit you that hard. You did, too? No, I did not. I got you figured out, mister. You come on all golly gee, why can't we sort this out? And then when you get my trust, you come on with the old lobster bit. <laughs> my wife was right about you. You're just a big, dumb gorilla. Oh, who you calling a big, I'm dumb gorilla? Oh, I'm Who are you calling a big, dumb gorilla? Does it hurt, honey? Oh, I can hardly feel it. Anyway, blood spilt in victory always tastes sweet. So you won, huh? Yeah, I had him pinned down on the floor at one time. I touched his eye. Gee, you should have heard him scream. <laughs> but I never gave back the Pokemon cards. Wendy? Where'd you get those Pokemon cards? Oh, yesterday when I left them up at the park, my friend Sarah took them home with her and she gave them to me at school today. So Timmy didn't take them? No. Isn't that funny? <laughs> I'm gonna go give these back to Timmy and apologize. That's ironic. <laughs> oh, baby, I am so sorry. Ah, oh, that's all right. I'm glad I did it. Finally got that 30-year-old monkey off my back. That's exactly what I said to your father the day you moved out. Pudding? 